previously on Future Pilot 901. After nearly a year, I finally met Chris and filmed a really important milestone in his flight training. Keep it coming down, keep it coming down, right, reduce the power, reduce the power, reduce the power. On final, the wind 09011. Nice and gentle. Another beautiful day. Great weather. I cannot complain. I'm going to be up for my lesson later. We're going to be doing circuits, powered off approaches, flapless approaches, so that I can be ready for those emergencies. And if I'm lucky, I will be doing my solo today. Because I have a three hour slot, most likely a two hour lesson with briefing in between or whatever or before. Um, maybe a short break in between. So I'm hoping that's enough time. If it's not, it, it, I don't know if I've got the funds to squeeze out another lesson this week. Next week's my birthday so I need to get it done this week. So I'm prepared, I'm ready mentally. I can't wait to get into the airfield and into the airplane. I'm here at Northfield Museum and I didn't realise that Northfield had such a rich, rich history. So I'm here to check out some of that history to find out how Northfield came about. Um, and then later I'll be checking out the tower at the airfield, seeing how they operate. Um, it's interesting because obviously I've been working on my calls uh, to the tower, to Northfield Radio. Uh, zero 02 with a left hand circuit, QNH 1016, world 09. Brilliant. Oi! Come on! <laughs> well done. <laughs> so, this time I actually get to go in and to see how they operate. That'll be really, really cool. Alright? This is good. It's as good as time as any to get started. Let's go. So that's the shortest museum trip I've ever had. <laughs> uh, there I go, assuming places are just open. Right, so I guess I'm gonna have to come back another day. On to the tower. It's really cool actually, very cool. They explain to me everything they do, how when you make a call, they write down you know, your name on this board and they place you in a particular position depending on what you're doing. And as you move around the airfield, they move you around the board. Go for a shot, go for it, 35, 2 0, right hand circuit, and you secure an H1015. One of the things that he, um, the, the guy, that handles the radios was telling me about is making the right call at the right time how important that is because everyone looks for you when you make that crosswind call they expect you to be at crosswind you know so if you're not yet there just say joining crosswind so shortly or uh, wait until you actually get crosswind and then you call it so it's pretty pretty cool one of the things that they did say is, you know, it would be good if some people, some of the, the student pilots came and visited them more often. So I said I'll pass the message because um, it, just, it just helps everyone because then you can understand each other, you know and understand what makes their jobs easier, what makes their jobs harder. They know and understand what makes your job easier and what makes your job harder. I'm very happy. It just joins, makes, connects the dots. That's what it does. It connects the dots. Dot, dot, dot in a line. Cheers. In an ironic twist of fate, I ended up clashing with the air traffic service unit during my lesson. More on that later. When I got here, the wind was 16 knots gusting at 26. Now it's more like 10 knots gusting at 26. So hopefully it gets better and better. Um, otherwise it will be a very, very tricky circuit. Very tricky circuit. I made my way to the flight school full of confidence. I had no idea I was about to have the toughest flying lesson of my life.
How long did you spend up in the tower? Uh, about half an hour. Oh, cool. We can approach to the intersection and then turn right off the hangar pool. Yeah, I quite fancy having a look actually. Yeah, they were saying they would uh, invite more people to come through. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so because we're a low wing and this is quite narrow, we've got to keep our self dead on the middle. We're looking through the frequency south and radar 130780. Bye bye. Yeah, they were telling me about the heli med and yes. all of that stuff and the police and yeah. different things that can happen and what I'll need to do. Yeah. So yeah, it's really useful. No, I bet. Did they tell you about the Alpha call sign on the head? Yeah, heads? Alpha's yeah. got priority, so yeah. whatever I'm doing, yeah. it's a giveaway. Yeah, that's their equivalent. But one, two, just hold short of the short disused runway. I've got a wasp helicopter to come past you. So. That's for us, so we'll go wheel 12. We'll go wheel 12. <laughs> See why they call it a wasp. <laughs> Funny looking thing. That's it, and when you're ever, whenever you're ready, continue to roll. At a control airport or something with um, an information service, they can give you clearances on the ground, in which case you have to hold, hold position until they tell you otherwise, but here, he's just advisory. Roger. So. I do like the wingspan. I always love uh, sitting... Um on the window seat where the wing is yeah yeah when i'm uh, flying in an airliner yeah okay so we're just gonna s start That's our it. turn here all 12 ready for departure roger so suspend is uh, 09013 up to about two zero roger will 12. clear my side clear right and clear left Oh, I love those numbers. So cool. So damn cool. So, let's get back. We're on into wind. So, take off and uh, right hand circuit. Yeah, and aileron to the wind. Aileron to wind. That way. Ah, uh, roger. Left yeah, cross wind. Yeah. Okay. I'm happy. Take off power. Oh, I'm ready. One, two, three. Take off power sets, speed is alive. NGT is in Pisa and the green. We have 50 knots. 55 knots rotating. And. Oh, so. And accelerating for 80. Hello. Good fun. Hey, yeah, we yeah, have 80 cool. knots pitching up. All 12 downwind. All 12, Roger. And the wind is about uh, 290 at the moment, 1 2. If you'd prefer to do it the other way round, uh, let me know after this one. Roger, we'll talk. This was my first time doing a right hand circuit pattern for 2-0 instead of my usual left hand circuit pattern for 0-2. I didn't take up the offer to reverse the circuit pattern, but in hindsight, taking the wind into consideration, I probably should have. Okay, so remember to fly the aeroplane before anything else. We want to be pointing over in that direction. Okay, what am I looking for here? Motorway junction down there. Motorway. That's it, just down on the left there. Motorway junction down 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 there. Motorway is holding us off on the runway. Let's start to think about some flaps now. Get that speed at 70. And one or two stages. Try not to turn too early. So okay. Just pointing towards those lakes. Good. 
good and you can see how long this base leg is next to the crosswind. Nice. So we're going to delay that final turn. Now, it looks really late, but that wind is holding you off on the center line. That's going to work nicely. Watch that airspeed. Looking good. Get us on that center line. Yeah, it's better to be on the other side. Absolutely. Keep that speed under control so don't dive for the runway. I'm seriously on final. The wind 09011. The wind being 090 at 11 knots meant that there was a crosswind component of around 10 knots and a tailwind component of about 4 knots. At this point, I also realised that I hadn't called final. There was just so much going on and I was struggling to keep up. I'll kill the car beat for us. Thank you. So, a bit less power and let's steer for the centre line. Power idle. Centre line. Fly level. Nice and gentle. Just fly level. Good. Flaps. Carpet's done. Full power. One, two, three. Into infrared. Check. That was a tricky landing. I'd love to say it got better from there, but it got much worse. Final, I did call final. I think your passenger might be feeling a wee bit on the hillside. Yeah, you better right rudder, pull back. Oh. 